Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna set up a remote user VPN using the Unify Network 6.0.43. I asked in my community if I should do some updated videos where I show the version number of the controller I'm using. As in my previous videos, I did not, and the beta has changed since then. So in this video, I'll go over how to create this remote user VPN in the classic mode, as well as in the new beta. I'll be doing other updated videos as well, both in this same style. We'll do the classic and the beta. If you guys would like to see a specific video, please put it in the comments below. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. Find me on Instagram at mactelecomnetworks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon store and I'll put the links below. So like I said, we're gonna be using Unify version 6.0.43 to do this remote user VPN. So I'll select my network controller and then we'll go over to settings. So this is the classic controller. So the first thing we need to do, we need to set up our radius server and our radius user. So we'll go over to services and then we'll go over to server. Here, I'm gonna turn the server on and I'm just gonna create a new password of test, one, two, three, four, and then we'll press apply. So now we could go ahead and create a user. We'll create new user and I'll call this Cody and the password will be test one, two, three, four, the tunnel type will be L2TP and the tunnel medium will be IPv4 and I'll press save. Now we need to create the remote user VPN network. So we'll go to the networks and then I'll create a new network. Here we're gonna select remote user VPN and I'll give it a name of remote VPN. And then we need to put in a pre-shared key. So for me, I'll just do test one, two, three, four. You wanna make sure these passwords are very strong. And then you're gonna select the WAN interface that your ISP is plugged into and then give it an IP subnet. So 192.168.22.1 slash 24. So this is the subnet that all your VPN users will get when they connect. Down under radius, we're gonna just use the default profile that we just set up and then we're gonna require MS chap version two and press save. So if you have a modem router from your ISP that's in bridge mode, this is all the steps that you would need to do to set up the VPN. Right now my ISP isn't set into bridge mode, so I need to go into the router and port forward a few ports. So let's go and do that. All right, so now I'm at my port forward page on my ISP router. Everybody's ISP router is gonna look different. So if you need help finding where the port forward is, type into a Google search the model number of that router. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new rule and we're gonna to have to add four rules. So the first rule is ISA KMP and this will be UDP and then port 500. And then we need to select the local IP or the device that we want this to port forward to. So if you're behind a router, you could go to your USG, your USG Pro 4 or your UDM, select on device, select the UDM and then under IP WAN address, you'll see what IP you need to port forward to. So in my case, it's 192.168.2.22. So I could type this down here. And then I will press create. Next, we're gonna create a rule for NAT T. And this will be a UDP and then port 4500. And it will be the same IP address. And then we'll create. Our next port is gonna be L2TP, and this is port 1701. And the last port we'll need is for a radius authorization, so radius, and that will be 1812. So now we should be able to connect to this VPN, and I'll show you guys how I do it on my phone. I'm gonna to go to VPN, and then we're gonna add a VPN connection. So the type is gonna be L2TP. The description, I'll just call it remote VPN. The server is gonna be your public IP address or fully qualified domain name. The account is gonna be the user account that you created and mine is Cody. The password will be the password that I created which was test1234. And the secret is test1234 as well. And then press done. Now we have the VPN configuration. We could press connect and it should connect to our VPN. And we could see that it is connected and then in the top right, it says VPN. Now I'll show you how to add it with your Windows adapter. The VPN won't work because I'm on the same network as it, but I will show you guys how to do it if you are doing it from your PC. So we'll go down to our open network and internet settings. We'll go to VPN 
We'll add the VPN. The VPN provider will be the Windows built-in. You can make any connection name you want. I'll call it Remote VPN. The server name will be the public IP or the FQDN. The type is going to be L2TP IPsec with pre-shared key. The pre-shared key is test1234. Then our username and password. So our username is Cody and our password is test1234 and we'll press save. Like I said, this won't connect because I am on the same network as it. There are a couple things you could do to troubleshoot if the VPN isn't working. And one thing we could do is change adapter option. We could find our remote VPN adapter, right click on it and then go to properties. Under security, we want to make sure that we allow the CHAP v2. So we'll go to allow these protocols and we'll also accept just the normal CHAP protocol and press OK. Now that you guys have seen it in the classic version, I'm going to go ahead and create it in the beta version. All right, so now we're in the beta of 6.0.43. The first thing we need to do is enable our radius server. So we're going to go to advanced features and then we're gonna to go to radius. So we'll click configure, and then we're gonna select this toggle switch to turn the radius server on. And this password, our secret password is the same as before, it's just test1234. Under radius settings, this is where you could change the ports if you would like to change them from their default. And then radius users is where we're gonna add our users that we want to connect to the VPN. So I'll create new radius user, we'll call it Cody, the password of test1234. The tunnel type will be the L2TP and the tunnel medium will be IPv4. And we'll create the user and press apply. Next, we have to create the network for the remote user VPN. So we'll click on networks, add a new network, and then I'll call it remote VPN. We'll go down to VPN settings and the VPN type will be remote user. The VPN protocol, they only have the one, which is the L2TP server. The pre-shared key will put in test1234. It is auto-filled a gateway and subnet for me, 192.168.3.1/24, and I'll leave it at that. If you want to expose this remote VPN to an, a site-to-site -site VPN, you could do that by clicking this toggle switch. The radius profile that we're going to use is the default one. This has the username of Cody in it and then we'll press apply changes. And that's all you need to do to create the remote user VPN in the beta settings. As you can see, I have my remote VPN already configured in my phone with the username of Cody. The network pre-shared key is test1234 and my password of test1234 and I'll click connect. And you can see that the status is connected and we're attached to the VPN. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.